Thank you so much. Balki, it's an absolute pleasure to have you out here. Thank you. You know, pleasure. in everything that we've studied about, uh, everybody says about 50% of any kind of marketing ROI comes from creative. But I don't know whether people are really walking the talk. In less than about what? A little over a month, IPL is going to start again. Last year, there were 71 advertisers on TV and about claimed upwards of 400 on the digital streaming piece. They spent anything from in single digit crores to upwards of 100 crores. What is your sense? Are these pop advertisers actually putting the same amount of thought into the creative that goes into the investment into something as big as an IPL or are they missing a trick? I'm going to leave it open to you if you talk and then I'll just keep on coming with some chabis in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> thanks Vikram, pleasure being here. Hi guys. Uh, the thing is, the, the title of not media was added by Vikram, not me. So, uh, uh, actually a few years ago, uh, there, was a f uh, there was a great experience I went through. We were, we were judging some IPL ads, the ads for which came on IPL. And let me tell you the honest truth is, uh, they were the trashiest ads that you could possibly find. And that really shocked us because, and it's become, I mean, it's not become trashier, but it's remained uh, pretty mediocre uh, all along. And it's very surprising that the most expensive media in the country has possibly the worst quality of ads. And that's really shocking. You're looking at Super Bowl, which just happened day before yesterday, yesterday, whatever. And um, we all look forward to the Super Bowl commercials as much as Super Bowl itself. Okay, why can't IPL, which is the premium advertising, uh, let's say, program or the place to be in and is watched by the most number of people in this country, why can't people produce the best advertising for it? Why can't marketers insist on absolute, you know, top-notch creative? Of course, it's all about the brand. It's all about uh, what the brand stands for. All that having been said, why can't the best creativity be right here? Because otherwise you're not getting bang for your buck. You're just kind of putting, being there and saying, okay, more people are watching my brand. Somebody will remember it far more than the other kind. That's what's happening today. You're just there in IPL for people to just remember you. What a cost to kind of pay. I mean, uh, uh, for that, you can do so much more with it. And we are doing all kinds of manipulations to get our brands to places. I, unlike, you know, most countries, we have, a, we have such a simple audience. They watch cricket. And the, some of the worst ads are in cricket. We have, a, we have a captive audience right through, it's just not IPL, across the World Cup, across a lot of matches which, which, is, which are happening. Millions and millions of people, and we are searching for ways to attack people through that medium and this medium and that medium, and you just don't give it, give it to them when they're watching it. They're there. And we spend so little time. Everybody is in a rush to make IPL ads. I mean, why is this rush to make IPL ads? Shouldn't that be the rush through the year to kind of wait for IPL? It is damn expensive. Okay, it, I read somewhere that there are Super Bowl 30-second spot, whether it's digital, whether it's uh, streaming, whether it's streaming or whether it's on television. Uh, it's about $7 million for a 30-second spot. Comparatively, our, you know the ad spend, uh, the, the cost of an ad would be about, 60 lakhs for a 30 second spot? A little less. Little less, 50, 45, something like that. 45 lakhs in our currency, in our, in our scheme of things, is damn expensive for one spot. There. And how much of thought and how much of safe, people are playing so safe and so uh, regressive on the most expensive platform out of fear. You know, sometimes fear makes you do the most ridiculous things of actually wasting all the money because nobody should tell me that, you know, I didn't do the right thing. You did the right thing, but nobody saw it. Or people saw it and forgot about you. Or people didn't even think about you. Where you had the chance of a lifetime, there are millions watching. Come on, yeah, bombard me. Can my ad be better than the program that I'm watching or as interesting as the program that I'm watching? And that's a program made for that. 
you need your ad to be more exciting than IPL. Otherwise, advertising, well, advertising on IPL is a waste of time. Forget the figures, forget the, uh, forget the viewership, forget all the stuff that happens. You are not rewarding the viewer. You are not using the viewer. It's like, you know, it's like, I keep saying this, it's like, uh, uh, you know, a great filmmaker, a great actor, uh, people are rushing to kind of watch his movie. You don't even need publicity to some of these big stars or these big uh, filmmakers or big franchises when they kind of release a film. You have a captive audio, you have millions of people already wanting to see it. You just have to kind of, you know, uh, be above their expectations. We're just cashing in the fact they're coming in there and saying, okay, we've got our money and say, screw them. So, so say a bit more on this. What do you, th why is it? What do you find about today's stuff that's trashy and how do you like the brief to be given to an agency uh, I, which makes them sort of... I don't even need to say that. You all see IPL ads. Yeah, how many... Decode, uh, it. Uh, decode it for us because I'm sure the advertisers Look at uh, the don't ads. think it's trashy. No, I think the advertising don't think... No advertiser will come and say or no creative person or no agency will ever come and say it's advertising is trashy. They will all have reasons for it. They will all say the brand is going through this cycle or the brand is going through that cycle or we need this in this market. There, there are millions of ways to kind of, uh, you know, uh, just justify anything in, under the sun. But you know a damn ad. You know. Yeah, of course it should talk to the consumer, but is it making him interested while you're talking to him or her? It's so ridiculous. When was the great last great ad that you saw on IPL? You tell me one that you, which according to you was a really a great ad and the IPL used well. I think the, the last, uh, Swiggy used to use it very well. You know, Swiggy did some interesting advertising on IPL. But by and large, and I'm talking, of, I'm, I mean, I may be forgetting right now which one or two things I may have forgotten, which may have been good. But look at the number of advertising, look at the amount of advertising on IPL, look at the amount of things that you can remember. You know, and we've forgotten this entire thing. We've all become afraid. It's just not an IPL, of course, in all other places. We've become more and more afraid. And to Shantanu's, uh, you know, thing of saying creativity is, uh, I mean, it's, it's, creativity is a bad word. It's, it's, it's actually a buzzword for things that don't work, you know, for in marketers' heads. Creativity is something that is, it, it, it's, it's, it's a phrase, a polite phrase given for things that don't work. I actually believe it's the only thing that makes things work. And I'm talking of that kind of creativity, which makes things work. But I'm saying there is, a, there is a, an um, extraordinary amount of fear that is in marketeers' heads today. I've never seen this before. And actually, we've regressed in communication. We've regressed in advertising like never before. The quality of advertising, the quality of thinking, the quality, quality of ideation, of course, it comes with a lot of theory why it's right. Okay? But it doesn't, it, you know it's not right. You've got to read 1,000 pages of theory to think it's right. But it's not right. You're not making use of the fundamental power of advertising, which is to charm me, which is to capture me, which is to make me smile, which is to make me laugh, which is to make me want to watch it again. An ad has to be as interesting as the content, first, number one. If it is not, it's a waste of time. I genuinely believe if marketers start looking at it, and if pressure is put actually on marketing heads, by heads of companies to kind of really make, if you're going to take a very expensive program, is my create, is, the, is what I'm putting out, crackerjack. Are people are going to sit and applaud? Why can't we have a reel of the best IPA rights? Why can't we be the Super Bowl of the world? Here, we've got the best sport, we've got the best tournament, we're, we're tom tomming the whole world that, uh, you know, it's fabulous and we've created history out here, but we don't have ads to show for it. And most importantly, I always believe in this. We are, we are a country which, which gets into quality a lot later than quantity. Okay? We just believe, okay, we've got the numbers, we've got the uh, figures and everything else. The quality, we, 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 we uh, you know, uh, uh, we, we put it on every other aspect of life. We say our roads are bad, this is bad, that's bad, this is bad, everything is bad. Okay, we, we, we've been doing, say, somebody will come and make an announcement, we've, did, we've done 1,500 kilometers of roadways, uh, of roads we've built uh, this year. But we'll go on saying this road is bad, that road is bad, this road is bad. But we never look at it when it comes to our, what we are doing out there. We're kind of spending tons and tons of money. We're not looking at quality in the tons and tons of money. And we're defining quality wrongly. We're defining quality very conveniently. We're defining quality in fear. And we're losing the power of advertising, which is to actually live in fear. Advertising is a bit of a gamble. And it will always be a bit of a gamble. And it has to be that. Great movies are a bit of a gamble. You just don't know. You, you think most things are right. You do it as commonsensically as possible. And you take that leap. 
after all that common sense. And that leap, if that gamble a person is not willing to take, that person should not be advertising ever, because advertising is a no, gamble. So you've used the word fear a few times and people are trying to play safe. Is the problem right now lying with the agencies or the advertisers, or both? Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know um, if agencies have enough of a voice to be a problem today. Uh, I just believe that uh, a lot of it, of course, finally the creators are the agencies, that they must take the blame for it. But I think it's got a lot to do with marketeers. It's got to do a lot, of, lot, lot to do with marketeers who are not pushing the agencies to kind of deliver uh, the kind of work that, that is going to make people as interested in the ads as in the program. Because sometimes I just believe the ambition of the marketeer dictates the quality of advertising. Uh, you know, I think the ambition is about more, I shouldn't look bad, then I should fly. You know, and fly is a gamble. You need to take gambles to fly. You can always be where you are and nobody will notice you and nobody will curse you, nobody will praise you. You can go on very safely. But if you want to fly, you've got to take that gamble. Be willing to be trashed a bit, you know. But I think 90%, 90 percent, 90 percent of the time when you do take a very sense, when, you, when you've got your thoughts right, when you've got your common sense in place, and when you take the leap, you will fly. And to me, the bigger aspect of it is not so much of marketers and advertisers, it is we have a program. We have something that beats the media maze that we are in. We've got a ready-made uh, thing called cricket in this country, okay, which I mean, we, we just watch cricket. You know, all along, we watch cricket. If just we advertise, if everybody said, I want to advertise in cricket and did the best ads in cricket, I think most of your problems would be solved. You know, most of the company's problems would be solved. They got the right strategy, did the best work on, on cricket. I, I, I remember, like, for once upon a time, uh, brands like Havels and a lot of brands, even, even uh, a lot of Unilever brands, were built on cricket. You know, now very few of those brands take cricket, actually are not doing cricket for some strange reason, uh, maybe because it's too expensive, or maybe because I, they believe that their kind of advertising does not need cricket. That to me itself is a little bit of, you know, um, why is this so happening? Let me get a media, let me ask you a media question, which is that, the, to answer, to, you know, a lot of advertisers feel that end of day it's all about reaching people with a my message, and it's maybe cheaper to reach my message by taking a bunch of spots across a lot of TV programs rather than a very expensive IPL. We, From your standpoint, do you think advertising on an IPL, how is it qualitatively different from building more reach or same reach, much cheaper through, say, dramas and movies and, and other news programs and so on and so forth? No, uh, but do you I, think that entire environment of an IPL or maybe a big boss, does that help a brand if you have to put an ad there? No, it's not so much the environment. I, you just now, I think we've heard enough of uh, conversation. Everybody's, everybody's talking about it, about the consumer att uh, attention span. Because he's not, he or she's not interested in your message. Uh, it's like almost like you're forcing something through that, uh, to that person. We all know the amount of distraction that we have. We all know the amount of content that we're not watching. We are kind of, you know, flooded with content today. Uh, there is more demand than, uh, there is more supply than demand. We're not able to watch. We're actually watching a little less than what we used to watch because there's too much of it. Now, in that environment, if you're just talking of reach, I've reached you. Uh, so what? A lot of things reach people, but do they ever open it? A lot of things kind of this thing. Do they ever kind of see it? Do they ever interact with it? Do they ever react to it? They may see it, but do they react to it? I think there is a difference between reach and reach successfully. But reach successfully means I reach, thank you, hello, how are you? I'd like to kind of see you again. It's pro proper reach. And for that, you really need to be damn, damn interesting. We've forgotten to be interesting. We are actually a race that is watching so many things happening all across the world. Everything's interesting, bombarding you. Insta reels are far more interesting. Your reels, every day you're getting things, videos that are far more interesting. And advertising, I have seen meetings where people are laughing at a reel or videos which are fascinating, which are some really funny stuff. And they're discussing a very boring ad. How is it possible? How is it possible for a human to be inhuman at the same time? I mean, it's like that. It's in five seconds. 
It's the same brain that's going to see both. It's the same eyes that are going to, going to see both. Same heart that's going to process both. What's happened to our, our world? Why is advertising, which is supposed to lead social change, which is supposed to lead fashion trends, which is supposed to lead behavioral change, which is supposed to kind of, you know, give me a catchphrase, give me a slang, give me new things, or give me a new attitude. Why is it following, 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 so way behind culture? We're supposed to set the trends. We are not supposed to follow, hey, what's that new catchphrase, uh, what's that new slang that's going on on social media? Let me use that in my ad and say I'm in touch with the young youngsters out there. It's stupid. On, on this entire element of be brave, just be more interesting. It's not just be brave. Just, it's not just be brave. Brave is a, uh, is, 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 a, is a funny word. And just don't be interesting. It's about be leading. I mean, think so that you can lead. Set trends. We are following trends today. We're all about studying trends. You know, sometimes this whole thing, when, whenever we have a problem in advertising, a lot of people who, uh, who are in all other kinds of businesses in advertising spring to make sense out of this maze. Actually, the sense still is in, in the same place. Sense is about beating the maze. Sense is about beating the maze, which, uh, maze by being more interesting. We don't need so much more confusion to kind of understand the confusion. Today what's happening is we're reveling in understanding the confusion with a lot more confusion. Nobody's having a solution. We're saying digital, we're saying television, we're saying... We understand. We understand what digital is. We understand what it is. The same damn shit goes into all the stuff. When you say digital advertising out here, a lot of that would be IPL on Hotstar or IPL on something else. That would be digital advertising. Okay, a lot of it. At least 50% of that would be that. It's not going to be anywhere else. So what are we talking about? We're still saying the same damn stuff. We're just using a different kind of a uh, thing to see it. Of course, yeah, attention span is less. But trust me, if you have a great ad, the person will say, hey, ad dekha kya? Who says that to today? Who says ye ad dekha kya? Why are we spending crores to kind of just put that ad out there and nobody's noticing me? If I can do lots of other things, I'll get noticed with 100 that money. Jumping, what chip? Imagine a company spending that kind of money. What is the logic of reach? I don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't get it that we've stopped using just common sense. So that's a clarion call for just, I mean, trying to lead the thinking with your brand by, I mean, whatever no. you do on other stuff, like your Instagrams and all the rest of it, you're not using the same yardsticks to actually do your own advertising, which is so important for you. True, but you're so not even doing that in life. I mean, you want to see all kinds of interesting places in the world. Yeah. You want to eat great, great food. You want to do everything else, but you want to create boring stuff. So my, at one point in time, you know, I was so angry, I was so, uh, you know, uh, thing. I said, you know, there, there's, and Sam, this is a fantastic business opportunity. I'm just giving it to you on a plateau, but take it. Um, I think, you know, I think I, I after, after that judging process, I wanted to, say, uh, let's, let's start an agency which starts in November and shuts down in April, okay? Which is, we'll do ads only for IPL. The most premium stuff, most premium media, how much you spend on media? The creative will be absolutely premium. If it's not premium, don't pay us. It's absolute premium, absolute kind of thing. Six month agency folds up, bye bye, see you in November. Okay, really want to do that. And Sam, you want to do it, please do it. Okay, and it's a fabulous thing because we are starved on the most expensive medium, we are starved of ideas. We're starved. We're actually, we are throwing money in the air. And you're crazy. We're just happy that our valuation is going up because we are seen advertising on IPL and people think we're a big brand. And we just notice because we're bombarding them. Every match of IPL, our name comes out, their ads come out, then we think we've done damn well. Rubbish. Imagine you've done damn good ad. How much more famous would you have been? You would have been. So the lost opportunity is never kind of calculated in the final balance sheet. It's always that how much we've done by being mediocre. So by the same token, I think you mentioned it, but I just want to uh, reconfirm. Do you think the advertising that you have to do, say for IPL or on TV and on digital, say Geo, Geo Cinema, needs to be same, or or does it, or will does just the sheer format of a of a digital for thing change things. No, of because course you can do a lot more things with digital. Is the syntax different there? The syntax is not very different. Uh, the idea may not be very different. 
Uh, even the execution may not be different, but they can do added things with that particular execution on digital, which you may not be able to do with television because there's, there's so many other interactive things that you can do on digital which you can't do with this stuff. And there are so many more interesting things that, that an idea can develop into on digital which you can't do on television. So digital is actually hugely advantageous. It can actually make it a lot more creative than what it is. You know, strangely, it's making us, you know, retract, become smaller then become bigger. Anything that you've seen on digital that has blown your mind? What I see, what I don't see television these days. We, watch, we all watch only digital. So what we're watching is basically all the ads and all the stuff. I don't think I've watched, uh, first of all, any ad that has, been, that has blown my mind for a long time. Uh, and, but on cricket, I don't know. I think if, if maybe in, in a, over a coffee and a cigarette, I may be able to think of a couple of things. Okay. Nothing's kind of just coming out, hitting at me and say, wow, what an ad. Uh, I haven't seen that. I saw 10 Super Bowl commercials yesterday, all of them, I mean, uh, costing $7 million to air once, and the whole world has seen it. What, what a fantastic experience would be that if uh, we did an ad once and, uh, uh, and, and the audience actually demanded for it to be screened again in IPL. I mean, that would be the day when we won't screen it, pay for it. I mean, it'd be great kind of stuff to kind of do. Why can't, we, why can't we just be more adventurous? Why can't we be more ambitious? We have a platform. We have no confusion. The consumer is not distracted. He is watching IPL. He is watching cricket. She is watching cricket. They are all watching cricket. Everybody is watching well, cricket. Shantanu was talking about how it, it can become the entire pull versus the push where consumers with all this distraction, if they can find something interesting, they'll ask for it. And uh, you're saying that an interesting ad can be one such way to do that. Hugely. And that's what ads are supposed to be. You're supposed to kind of stop in whichever environment and say, wow, what is this? You're distracting, you should not be able to. If you're more distracted, the ad has got to be even more interesting. And that's all it is. OK. Uh, just a more general question. In the years that you've been out of active agency life, how have you seen the agency side? Let's not flagellate the... Uh, advertisers, but how has the agency, or the creative agency ecosystem changed? Um, I think, I think, I, I wouldn't want to say they, I'm saying we, because I still uh, believe in, I'm, a, I'm in advertising, I'm, I will always be in advertising. We're all swimming in confusion. Okay, we're using confusion uh, as almost like, you know, uh, sound of, Doomsday here, that's coming there, God knows what's happening, let's do, make this person happy, that person happy, let's kind of do, uh, you know, maintain the business. But a lot of people haven't changed from the way they've kind of been doing business before. It's exactly the same, uh, with a few more, with a few different kind of expressions in meetings and presentations or whatever. But I think this agency structure shockingly remains the same. Uh, that is, that is, uh, that itself is kind of amazes me, why it is the same. Uh, and what is more uh, shocking is, uh, while, while adexes are growing, while people are spending more on advertising, I don't think advertising agencies themselves are growing. That's shocking. That actually means that people are not seeing the value of an idea. People are not saying, hey, only you can give me that idea. People are saying, anybody can give me these ideas. So therefore, the money is going down. Because I'm not able to charge a premium to a person if that person does not believe that only I can produce the idea. It's a simple thing. Advertising is also about, uh, it's about you pay a professional, you trust a professional because that professional does a damn good job. And you believe that professional is the professional I want to go with. If you can say that to advertising, if you say that to an advertising agency and say, nobody but them can do that stuff, then you're rocking. And, and I thought and I think something like an IPL or something like, uh, you know, a, a, a showcase where people are seeing your advertising can be a big reboost for advertising. Also, I also believe that a way to do it, even, the, even for IPL, and I want to speak to somebody at Geo2 about it, is they also look at it quantity, they also look at 2.3 scroll, scroll subscribe uh, viewers, they have that little thing uh, at the corner of the screen, no? they go to 4.5, 5.5. Uh, I just believe they also made it like a flagship platform for advertising to say, improve the quality, reward better advertising. See, at the end of the year, at the end of the tournament, if you were to have a jury and they were to select the three best ads and they were to return 
let's say if your advertising is the best, I would give you 15% of what you spent on IPL. Back to you. I mean, it's just That's a thing idea. to push, push the entire thing. It's fabulous. I mean, look at the amount of people who will be... Finally, the value of a platform doesn't increase just on numbers. You can go from Hotstar, you can go to Geo, you can go to this thing. You are just depending on stuff. It also can elevate it quantity, uh, qualitatively. You know, wow, I'm going to see the best on Geo. I'm going to see the best of ads. I'm going to see the best of matches. I'm going to see... how, do you, how does a platform also guarantee that? You can do that too. There are ways to kind of incentivize uh, advertisers to produce better advertising. You know, the word trust has been used twice. Shantanu talked about it. Rob talked about it. If this entire, the, the brave new world of advertising that we would like to get back to, how do we get the clients to, to trust the agency? I mean, because somewhere along the line, it's, how do we make it from a vicious to a virtuous circle? See, I don't, think, I don't think that there is a process for this uh, because there, there can't be a, there can't be a pro, uh, process for this entire thing. I think it has to be done by one example. The moment you have one example of something, you will see lots of people following. The moment you have one kind of, one incentive, I really believe Geo can do this. I really believe Geo can actually say, this year we're focusing on the quality of advertising on IPL. We will reward the three best campaigns. You will see a marked change in advertisers. Suddenly, oh shit. The, the, the entire logic will be reversed on saying something, something, something to justify the same logic. Okay, but it has to be done by example. Somebody has to fight the system. Somebody, some advertiser has to fight their system internally. Some advertiser has to take, it will happen. It's going to happen very fast because this kind of uh, blowing up of money for absolutely low returns like this is, it's not, it's not going to, it's gonna, not going to be tenable for too long. So it will happen, but I, to speed it up, I sincerely hope that somebody really slogs their butt off, pushes the system, and uh, fights the... It it's, it's actually requires a lot of resilience to fight the system, to get that breakthrough and set an example in, on, on cricket or IPL. On cricket, a lot of people... Like, uh, look at Vodafone. Look at a lot of uh, stuff that had happened before. Look at... I, idea was in cricket. Uh, Vodafone was in cricket. All these were built on that stuff. They were flagship advertising cricket. That's not happening on IPL. Somebody has to fight the system today, be resilient enough. It's going to take a lot of stuff, effort, both from the advertiser as well as the agency. But once that's done, you will find the floodgates open. You will see people coming out. It's not that we had suddenly become a uh, creative list kind of an industry. No, there are fantastic brains all, all over. There are fabulous people. Somehow the system has got into a shell of saying, we don't know really what's happening. Does advertising really work? And they're still spending crows while still asking the same question, does advertising really work? They're saying it very softly, but they're still spending money because they don't know the truth of it. Because you can't say it doesn't work because they may lose a big opportunity. So it does it work, it works, it doesn't work. So, okay, let me spend a little bit of money. Let me not make, put in too much of effort, let me put too much of brains and creativity and all that shit. That word creativity has gone out of the system. It doesn't exist anymore. So that, that thing and all that stuff is there. We just kind of pass the... Just sail through. Ladies and gentlemen, wake up call from Balki, a rebel with a cause. Thank you. Guys. Put your hands Thank together. You.